Hello, namaste. So beautiful to be here with you all. <laughs> um, in this video, I want to expand uh, on something that I briefly talked about on my Instagram a couple days ago. I posted uh, about a minute and a half video on Instagram all about not rejecting yourself how it's so important um, when we start connecting to our hearts and to our passions to stop rejecting ourselves. This is a teaching that I first learned from my teacher, Craig Holliday, um, one of my teachers. And the biggest takeaway was that when we reject ourselves, it's so much worse than being rejected by others because we don't get the feedback we don't learn from it, and we don't grow from it. So say you create something and you put it out to the public and you know, you get rejected or, or maybe you start a business and it, and it fails, like you create a product and it, you, know, you don't sell anything at first or you create a beautiful art piece, your masterpiece and no one wants to buy it or just something like this, some type of major rejection. I know for me a big one was, I would create YouTube videos and literally zero people would watch them. Like I, I one, one time I did this Ascension Symptom video when I was living in Portland and after 48 hours it had zero views, not exaggerating. And so that to me was a huge rejection, right? Um, so the beautiful thing is a lot of things happen when we, when we allow ourselves to be rejected. We, we first, we get, we get some feedback. We learn from it. Um, we grow, and and we actually start discovering our invincible nature. We start discovering how indestructible we really are, because we'll we'll have the massive rejection and we'll feel the pain of that. But then on the other side of that, we'll 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 realize, wow, I'm still here. Nothing really happened. You know, it wasn't as, it's never as bad as the mind tells you it's going to be. And, and you get to, you get to feel through another layer of lack of, of maybe low self-esteem of, of unworthiness. And you get to feel through these limiting beliefs and they get to come up and out of your body as you feel through that rejection. When you put yourself out there creatively, when you follow your heart and you create the painting and no one, no one cares about it or you follow your heart and you start creating this heart-centered business and it just seems like you're getting no traction with it. Um, you start to get more intimate and more connected and more in touch with these parts of you that are rooted in fear essentially like, like unworthiness, lack, I'm not good enough, no one's going to like it. These are all rooted in fear. And so you get to, you get to feel through these, you get to heal these and you get to integrate all of these all these energies in your body and and so this is why it's so beautiful to allow yourself to get rejected by others because if you, if you don't do that and you just reject yourself and you don't put it out there then you don't get to go through that whole process of unearthing those feelings of going through that you know that oftentimes quite fain, painful process of healing so you don't get to feel the liberation and the freedom and the expansion on the other side you just keep yourself trapped in this prison. It's like you put yourself in this prison when you're afraid of um, external rejection because anytime you're, you're not following your heart and those inspired feelings, you're still getting rejected. You're the one rejecting yourself. Except this time it doesn't come with all the valuable life lessons. It doesn't come with all the healing. It doesn't come with discovering your own invincibility, how rejection at a certain point Rejection is just something you almost, in a sense, I was going to say look forward to, and I don't want to go that far, but it's something that when it happens, you see the gift in it right away. You see it like, wow, okay, this is beautiful because now I get to grow. I'm going to get to become even more liberated through feeling these feelings. I mean, so many goosebumps when I say that because it's like in my body now. You know, it's in my body that I've created so many things and they haven't you know, met my whatever expectations or my results. I used to really live in the results of my work and that was a stage I had to go through for a while. And, you know, I was giving all my power away to the results of, of my creative work. So if I would get a really good feedback, 
oh, I feel great. And if I would get really bad feedback or, or not bad feedback, but if I would get no feedback, you know, and, and uh, I would tend to not feel so good. And so I've noticed like this movement of, of allowing yourself, like putting yourself out there authentically, being vulnerable, opening yourself up to external rejection is such a, is such like a doorway into this place where it's like you get to access superpowers because when you get rejected so many times, you stop fearing rejection. It doesn't phase, it doesn't phase you so much. It doesn't throw you. It, it, you can see it's like not even real in a, in a sense. Like you start to, you start to heal so much on this path that of putting yourself out there um, that um, it doesn't bring the same weight anymore. So you start to, it's like this superpower where like when you're not afraid of rejection, that's like the ultimate freedom. Like you're just free to do anything at that point. You're free to, you just become more of this empty, this empty conduit, this empty space for ins, like inspiring creative ideas to flow through. So that's the message today. If you have an inspired idea, if you have something that you, you, your heart really wants to share, wants to bring forward, let that, let that come forward. Let, uh, let yourself be open to the chance of, you know, and the, and the possibility of re being rejected by others. You know, it really does suck. I'm not going to lie to you. It does, you will feel the pain of that. But the pain of being rejected by others is so much better than the pain you're going to feel when you reject yourself. The pain, on the other side of the pain when, when you're rejected by others is like this, you just feel alive. You feel, you feel like the flames of gnosis, the, the spiritual fire burning away karma, burning away conditioning, burning away limiting beliefs and unconscious patterns and conditions, conditionings and all this unworthiness gets to, gets to come out of your body and you just, you're walking through the flames of rejection. And you start to fall, fall, like I've said before, you start to fall in love with these flames. You, you recognize how transformative and liberating they are. Whereas when you reject yourself, and you put yourself in this prison, it's like an excruciating hell realm where you, where you stay small, where you let, your, you let your conditioning, you let your shadow control you. Um, and you let those, it's like the more, and this goes to another teaching, it kind of leans right into it. It's like the more you're aware of what's in your shadow the, and the, the hidden drives that control you, the more you become aware of that, the less power they have over you. And the more you can move into this place of freedom where, where self-expression just becomes something that is, is, is no longer a choice. It's like it just, you, you are so aligned with your highest self because you've, shine so much light on your shadow that, you know, just allowing your highest truth to come through is no longer a choice. And this can happen also when you'll notice this in your own life, when the pain of rejecting yourself becomes so much greater than the pain you might have to face from external rejection. Um, I know this has happened to me over and over and over again, where I'd have an idea and I just couldn't share it and I just didn't feel safe enough to share it. And I just thought, oh, people won't like it. What will they think? you know, and eventually the pain of that, the pain of not sharing the inspired idea and the numbness and the deadness that would follow and just this feeling of disconnection and just, I would like to really kind of start to lose some self-respect and all of that would just, it would become so much more of a hell realm than, than the hell of being rejected, which isn't even a hell because you just feel through it and then you're just like, it's like you're 10 pounds lighter, you know, and you're ready for, to create the next idea. It's like you get that feedback, you get, you learn from it, you grow and you're just ready to, to share with the world your next great painting, your next great video, the next great writing, your next great cookbook, whatever, you know, your next great song. Um, and that's why it's so beautiful when you do put yourself out there and maybe you do face that temporary rejection. It, it's so beautiful because it helps you to grow and to expand and to bring forward even more of your heart, even more of your essence than ever before. Whereas when we reject ourselves, none of those things are possible and we just kind of stay stuck and we can feel the feeling of stuckness in our body, of numbness. And soon that just becomes, like I said, so much more painful and, and we finally surrender. We surrender to a more empowered state of living 
where we share through our heart, where we aren't living in, like I've shared in many videos, we aren't living in outcome. We are not living in the results of our work. We recognize that the results, in a larger sense, have no meaning. We just show up and we do our best. And yes, we, we take the feedback. We feel into what is there for us to learn so that we can grow as a result of it, so that we can improve our craft, so that we can step into a higher level of mastery. But it, we don't let the feedback we, we don't, or a temporary rejection it's not something that defines our value and who we are and our self-worth at all. It's like you don't want to let how good or bad you're doing be based on your outcomes. You want it to be based, if you're going to feel into that, you want to feel into it based on, am I always following my highest? Am I being a servant to the truth? Am I being a slave to the truth no matter what, no matter what type of um, outcomes I'm afraid of facing or what type of rejection may come from it? So, yeah, I feel like that's a complete video for you guys today. Um, welcome to the pond here where I'm staying. There's so many amazing, it's like a whole universe in there, a whole um, ecosystem of frogs and fish and tadpoles. and Yeah, it's really quite incredible. Um, if you would like to support the channel in a deeper way, I will put a donation link below this. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one healing session with me, I will put a link for that below as well. And also, um, I am really trying to build my email list. So if you want to join the email list, there is also going to be a link for that underneath. I love you all very much. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it inspires you to stop rejecting yourself, and to really put yourself out there. If you're feeling the call, if the, I like to say, if the silence is calling you to do something and you're a little bit afraid of it, I hope this video um, inspires you to step into something greater. Much love. Namaste.